Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to collect emails on Shopify and also how to set up email lists on Shopify. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on apps. After selecting apps, I want you to tap on all recommended apps and you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on Shopify App Store. Once you have selected Shopify App Store, I want you to tap on the search bar at the top of the page and from here I want you to type in email pop-up. After you have selected email pop-up, you'll see numerous apps that you can choose from. It all depends the type of offer that you would like to give your customers to collect their email. For example, you could do a regular email pop-up or you can use one of the spin the wheel apps right here so that you'll be able to collect their email by doing the spin the wheel version. For this example, I would recommend that you use review, but you can use any one of these apps that are for completely free as you can see right here. But review is one of the most highly rated apps as you can see here. You could also use Ecom send pop-ups. It is also another highly rated one. And with it, you'll also be able to create spin the wheel and other apps, as you can see right here on other offers better yet. Let's say I were to use Ecom Send. I'm going to tap on install. And again, you can see that it is completely free. Once you have tapped on install, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, all you'll need to do is go over to the top right hand corner, tap on install app. Once you have tapped on install app, you are going to be redirected to Ecom Send dashboard. And from here, you'll be able to create your first offer. So you can see that I'm currently on the dashboard as you can see right here. If I were to tap on the X right there, all I'll need to do now is simply scroll down and we're going to tap on enable embed. So let's do that real quick. This is going to redirect us to our editor page and you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and ensure that it is toggled on. So once the page loads up, you are going to pay attention to the left hand menu option right here. You can see that it is toggled on. Once it is toggled on, you are going to tap on save. So let's tap on save real quick. Once the changes have been saved, all you'll need to do now is go back into your store right here and you're going to go back onto the Ecom Send page and you're going to tap on Create Pop-Up. Then you'll tap on Create Pop-Up once more. Then from here you have two options. You can either use this template or you can use the Spin the Wheel template. It is completely up to you. Then you can tap on Create Pop-Up and you can also test out the different pop-ups to see which one will work. Then you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you can select the offer that you like to give your potential customers. For example, the percentage off or a fixed amount. I'll use percentage off and I'm going to be offering 15% off. You can also set an expiration date on the discount and you are going to scroll down you could add a sticky discount bar if you want. And then from there, you can add this also in the sidebar widget if you want. And would you like this offer to be available on all devices? Or only on desktop or mobile? If you would like it only to be on desktop, you could select this desktop. If you would like it to be on all devices, you can leave it as is. You can also choose when you would like the pop-up to appear whether you would like it to appear immediately, after three seconds, after five seconds, or after 60 seconds on the page. You can also show after scrolling or whenever someone is trying to exit the page. You have numerous options you can choose from. You can also choose the frequency. So this is basically the number of times the pop-up will show on a browser. For example, every time anyone visits or you'd like to limit the frequency. You can also choose the pages that you'd like this to appear on. So for example, you can show it on any page or you can select a specific product page that you'd like to push this on. 
and you can also choose the countries that you would like to offer this whether it is every country or only certain countries you can do that and also if you like to schedule when this is shown you can tap on show between a time period and you can choose the time right there after you have done all of that all you'll need to do now is tap on content from the top left hand corner and you can edit the content as i'm offering 15 percent off i'll edit that right there you can edit the text whichever way you want you can also add emojis if you want and you can add what you would like to collect with your form is it only email address that you like to collect or you like to collect something more if you like to collect something more you could tap on add form field and from there you can collect phone number or you can add marketing consent if you want then from there you're going to scroll down again you can edit the text the footer text then you can also edit the success text right here our page so you can edit that also then you can scroll down and from there you can edit the arrow texts also if you don't like this style or template you can change it and you can also upload your logo by tapping on add image you can scroll down and you can change the font style you can change the size right here so it could be large you can change the alignment there are numerous editing options that you can choose from you can change the background color the text color as you can see here you can change practically anywhere how it looks to your specific liking i'll leave it as is once everything is to your liking, you're going to simply tap back on rules right there in the top left hand corner and you're going to scroll up and we'll simply toggle on publish your pop up. So let's do that real quick. You can see published successfully and you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once it has been saved to preview it, we could tap on preview this pop up. So let's give it a few seconds. Once we have tapped on preview this pop-up, we'll be redirected to our shop and you can see the pop-up right here. So customers will be able to add their email address and then tap on claim discount and you'll be able to collect their email address. If we were to go back into the app, then from here tap on back in the top left hand corner. You can see right there the pop-up that is available and I'll also recommend that you create a second pop-up so that you can do an A to B testing to see which version of the pop-up works best and also which color scheme works best which one gives you the larger conversion rate. And you can see your subscribers by tapping on subscribers from the left hand menu option and you will see all of the subscribers that you have collected right here. And that's about it. You'll be able to retarget them with different emails if you want in the future. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.